Hello and welcome to Ray K Q&A, the show where Ray Kurzweil answers questions about the future. This week's question, do you believe in God? I believe that the ultimate spiritual value is consciousness. Now, in some spiritual traditions, it's called a soul. And I think that's what people mean by a soul, is an entity that's conscious. So you might think there's a big distinction or disparity between atheists who don't believe in God and people who have more traditional religious beliefs. But actually, there isn't. Everyone, you know, with very few outliers, uh, believes in the sacredness of a conscious person. And in fact, non-conscious things like a machine or a diamond are only important insofar as they affect the conscious experience of conscious beings. Atheists would agree that a conscious person is sacred. They may not use that word exactly. And the impact that different act, acts and actions and lack of action have on conscious experience. And so to extinguish someone's consciousness is a high crime. Causing pain and suffering, like assaulting someone, is also a crime, maybe not as serious as extinguishing someone's consciousness, but basically our morality is based on consciousness. Some scientists say, well, consciousness is not a really scientific property. There's no falsifiable experiment you can run uh, that would definitively prove that this entity is, con is conscious and this one isn't. There's no machine you could build. You slide an entity in and a green light goes on if it's conscious and a red light goes on if it's not. You could build a machine like that, but it would have philosophical assumptions built into it. So John Searle at Berkeley would want to make sure it's, it's squirting biological neurotransmitters, and if it wasn't, the red light would go on. And Dan Dennett at, uh, at Tufts, who's a leading AI philosopher, would want to make sure that the entity had some model of its own thinking process. And, that would be, if it did that, then maybe the green light would go on and it would say it's conscious. So some scientists say, well, it's, it's just an illusion. We shouldn't waste time with us with it. You know, that's not my view because, as I say, morality is based on consciousness. And even people who say that nonetheless actually believe in that morality. That's one view I have. So we have consciousness. It's deeply mysterious. I mean, how is it that this, we can look at a human brain? And I've certainly been among those that have attempted to describe how it's like a machine and how that machine works and yes it's extremely complicated but nonetheless you know each neocortical module is made up of a hundred neurons and each neuron has these different parts and ion channels and you can describe how it goes and follows the laws of physics so it is a machine nothing mystical about you know a neuron and out of that comes a conscious entity it's kind of a miracle so I do believe in miracles I think that's a spiritual property and the fact that consciousness came into being is a deeply mysterious spiritual kind of revelation. So that's one attitude I have towards spirituality. Another one is how is God described in these different traditions? There's actually a common set of attributes that God has in all of these different religious traditions. God is uh, infinitely creative and beautiful and loving, uh, intelligent, so what, is it, what happens to entities as they evolve? We became more intelligent. We became more capable of higher level emotions. So we became more loving. We became more creative. We became more beautiful. And so we're actually moving exponentially to have greater levels of the very properties we ascribe to God without limit. Now we never become literally infinite, but we're moving exponentially in that direction. So we become more godlike and we become closer to God and we do so at an exponential rate, and the exponentials kind of explode, never quite becoming infinite, so we never really reach that ideal. But you can definitely say that evolution is a spiritual process that moves us closer to God. Thanks for watching Ray K Q&A. Stay tuned for a new episode every Thursday. Click here for more videos from Singularity University. Also, don't forget to subscribe.